breaking news. The High Republic is still around. And welcome back to Echo Base Network, where we bring you high-quality Star Wars news and reviews, and you, the community, keep Star Wars alive. So I'm digging through Star Wars news and wanting to do a video release for you guys today. And the new, there's news all over the place. There's all kinds of things, but I see something that nobody else is really reporting on at the moment, and I kind of want to put a little light on this. But uh, yes, the High Republic, Justina Ireland... Remember her, Justina Ireland? Uh, her, yes, famed Star Wars author. Justina Ireland talks Star Wars, the High Republic, out of the shadows. So she has a book that she is being interviewed on. So they ask her several questions in this interview. And here are some of the questions. I'm going to show you guys some of these questions here. Uh, first of all, congratulations on Out of the Shadows. This novel really shines in the High Republic campaign in a universe that's already so big and continues to grow. Seems harmless, right? Let's look at the next question. You know, and then you see her, you see her answer, okay? Uh, her answers, two very short little statements. And then Nerds and Beyond. This novel focuses heavily on the characters and their growth throughout the story. What was it like expanding on characters you've written before like Vernestra and Imri? And what was it like writing the new characters we meet? She gives about a three-sentence answer to that question. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, they say, and I love how this new era is giving us some incredible and unique characters, to be honest. My favorite, blah, blah, blah. She gives a standard one-paragraph answer to the question, and here we go. Recently, Disney and Lucasfilm have taken steps for inclusivity. What made you want to include Sylvester's sexuality and relationship with Jordana in the story. As you could probably imagine, ladies and gentlemen, Justina Ireland gives her longest answer of the entire interview to this question. So, hmm, that's interesting. That's what she wants to talk about the most. So, and ironically enough, she starts her statement with, I write books, not corporate policy. So I can happily, so I happily cannot speak to the first part of the question. Ha ha. Okay. To, to continue. But I will say this. Why is this a question we're even discussing? When was the last time someone said, you made a couple heterosexual and extremely attractive? What was the reasoning behind that? Roma, romance in a young adult novel is normal and almost de rigueur, and love is love. I probably said that wrong. But And love is love. I think people like to forget that once upon a time, interracial relationships were met with the same kind of resistance and vitriol as queer relationships, and in some families, still are. Hate has no place in any fandom, which should be a celebration of shared love of media. I don't have time for small-minded people, and no one else should either. Well, here's what I want to say about this, about this statement. One, it is ironic to me that of all the questions asked in the interview, this is the one that she spends the most amount of time on. Two, I would like to say that I agree with her. I agree with her in so far as hate uh, having no place in the fandom. You know, I, I'm with her there. I don't hate, I personally, I don't hate anyone, okay? Um, but that's me. I know that we're all different. Some of you do. That's fine. That's you. You got to live with that. That's I'm good with it. You know, you be you. You do you. I do me. I don't have hate for anybody. This channel doesn't have hate for anybody. But what I do want to say to Justina Ireland is, well, actually, let's just do this. Talking about inclusivity. Let's actually go to About Nerds and Beyond's website. Okay. About Nerds and Beyond. If you have any questions, contact us. Let's look at who works for this company. Well, Briar, this lady, is the owner. Lindsay, Katie, P 
Pal, Julia, Jules, Mandy, Casey, Michaela, Haley, editors, okay, Brianna, Kennedy, Rachel, Sarah, Kaylee, Kaylin, Catherine, Kristen, Leanne, Lynette, Megan, Meredith, Muriel, Natasha, Nicole, Britt, Emily, Amy, Brooke, Emma, Kayla, Liz, Cam, Grace, Liz, Meg, Marilla, Nancy. Whoa. It, it's like they wrote, it's like they've got the girls' names for pregnant mothers. You know, that's what this site is. Like, it's crazy. Uh, like, like, let's count these. Let's count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 21, 21, 25, 27, 30, 34, 38. 38 employees. 38 employees. Zero men. Zero. And you have the gall to ask about inclusivity? How dare you? How dare you? Homosexual romance. Okay? Uh, because she's making it sound like, you know, is that type of romance, it should be in every young adult novel and, and everything else. So was it in, I don't know, let's do let's do a survey. Revenge of the Sith. No. True Sith Bakura. No. Darth Bane. Path of Destruction. No. Spectre of the Past. No. The Last Command. No. Outbound Flight. The original Star Wars novelization written by our former guest, Alan Dean Foster. No. Splinter of the Mind's Eye. No. The Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. Heir to the Empire. Dark Force Rising. The Last Command. Shadows of the Empire. Heart of the Jedi by our friend Ken Flint. Thank you, Ken. No. So there you have it, folks. All of these books and that type of agenda, that type of message, that kind of romance isn't in these books. Very interesting. What is your take on that? What is your take on that? No hate here. No hate here. There's a difference in in being okay with something and accepting it and having it force-fed to you or your youth. So anyways, that's my take on this. What do you think about it? And uh, I just, the High Republic is not doing well. It is not doing well. Um, we're, not, we're not even seeing High Republic videos on the Star Wars YouTube channel anymore. They just quit. They tried and they tried and they tried and they kept getting ratioed and now they're nowhere to be found. So anyways, I know that this, this news is a little bit on the negative, but there's so much going on that's good with Star Wars. So much is happening, you know, with Mandalorian Season 3 in production right now. Uh, we're going to be getting the Book of Boba Fett. Ahsoka is going to be good. Kenobi is shaping up to be very good Star Wars. Star Wars Visions comes out soon. The biggest news of all in my mind, August 25th, Disney Gallery and the, the behind-the-scenes special episode on Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, and the immense pressure and responsibility the filmmakers had. That's what StarWars.com said. The immense uh, pressure and responsibility the filmmakers had in bringing back one of the greatest characters in the history of film. That's right, the history of film. That's a quote. Man, I'm getting good at this. So anyways, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. There's The good right now, this week and last, is outweighing the bad, even though this episode was kind of on the negative, because it's on agenda-ridden uh, Star Wars that... It's not very popular with the fans. I know some of you like the High Republic. I respect you for that. I, I, I wish I liked it. I don't. You know, I don't. Have I read books and stories with uh, homosexual characters? Yes. Did that turn me off? No, because that wasn't the agenda. That wasn't the most important factor in what's happening here. That's what Justina Ireland's doing. All right. That's it for me. I'm the coach. We are You Are Echo Base Network. 
and we will see you on the next one. Thank you.